Hello there, unfortunate audience. My name is Oltario, and welcome to The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. Last time, we managed to somehow not start off this adventure within 16 minutes. Well, guess what? I've had enough of it. Let's start off the adventure within 16 minutes, starting now. But no, seriously, last time... We found out that some girl had just been kidnapped by some bird, and we want to go rescue her. But how dumb of us. How can we rescue a girl that just got stuck up in a forest? We don't know how to defend ourselves. Well, remember what our grandmother said? There's probably only like one person in this place who knows how to sword fight. Which is disappointing, since it's incredibly easy to learn how to sword fight. Alright, Brupets. Press L right there and use A to talk to me. Try it! Hey, no thanks. And now time to have the most meaningful conversation with this old man. Oh, what does it matter, Boopits? You have an urgent look about you. Has something happened? Whatever it is, from the look on your face, I suspect it is no laughing matter. What do you say, Boopits? Ah, have you come for some serious instruction in the way of the sword? Yes, sir. I really need to learn how to fucking swing a sword. Even though it's really simple, you swing the sword by swinging it. Wait! He can do a backflip! At age nine! What? I can barely climb a ledge! Very good, your first lesson shall be the horizontal slice. Face me, and then press B. Do not fear for my safety. I am ready for you. Good, keep coming at me until you hear me say very good. Keep coming at me. Yes, that's do it. Very good. Next is the vertical slice. Hold L and target me, then press B. Keep swinging. You know what to do at this point. Spam the B button. Very good. Next is the thrust. L target, then tilt upward and press B. Come at me. Thrust me with your sword! Oh, okay, man. It's really weird, though. Very good. Keep thrusting! Keep thrusting! Us. Uh, all kinds of wrong. Next is a spin attack. Hold B briefly to build up your strength. Then release it. Or rotate once and press B. Oh, let's try that. Very good. More. Keep it up. Oh, be briefly or do this. Next is harder. This is the parry attack. L target until you see A. Then quickly press A to perform a defensive strike. You will know what to do this. Fuck. You're not doing as I told you. I'm sorry. Ready for you. Very good. The camera sort of screwed up. And again, L target and watch for A closely. But don't screw up the camera this time. I swear to God, if you do. Very good. Now, finally, the jump attack. Draw your sword L and then press A. Come after me once more. That was a fine display. And yet, I sense a certain anxiousness in the sword you hold. An eagerness that goes far beyond the desire to you to be wielded on the fields of battle. You're not ready! You're far from ready! I do not know what has happened, but I have faith in you. Somehow, I doubt you will misuse that sword. You may have it, Boopits. I give it freely. Take the blade with you. You somehow took out the sword when you put the sword away! You accepted the hero sword. It's a regular sword. Use it wisely and carefully. You don't want to let down the kind old man who has entrusted you with it. Since the olden days, this sword has been used to fend off evil. Its blade is infused with the desire to become strong and righteous. We're an anime. Be strong, burpits. I will! And now, time to not tell our grandmother about this and start going on an adventure! Let's do this. 
All right, we're here. What does it say? No entry. The four paths are closed until suspension bridge repairs are complete. I, I repeat, do not cut down the sign. Oh, why did you do that? And f so we get our first introduction to grass. Surprisingly, the thing you see on the ground all the time isn't grass. That is grass. So climbing up here, we see the bridge. And what does it say? Fairy, fairy fountain side ahead. Increase your fortune. Oh, cool. Neat. Let's go see it. Ah, screw the girl. I need to find me some fortune. Wow. Bridge repairs. The one tiny bridge gap that can be easily avoided. Totally needed to halt the progress there, huh? After passing the bridge, what do we see? Our first instance of a dark cave. Oh no, I have claustrophobia. Never mind, it's just the forest. Ooh, she's hanging off a branch. That totally would have saved her from a, a I don't know, 50 foot drop. So climbing over this ledge, we get our first instance of an enemy. Ooh. Look at this motherfucker, he's going like, whoa, and then I... And he's dead. What? I said you're dead. Good. Oh, when uh, sometimes when you kill enemies, this will appear. You break it, you get goodies. Though it's early on in the game, so you get jack squat. Also, never forget to continue exploring, because you can find stuff like red rupees around wherever you look. Oh, what does this say? Well, if you look at it, if you look at it, fairy fountain site. The spot marks the remains of an ancient fairy fountain. The legendary hero was said to come here after battle so the fairies could ease his weariness. It was also said that whoever met with this great fairy who lived here was blessed with the great fortune. So it came to be known as the Fountain of the Fortune Goddess. Now, if this place, if this takes place after Ocarina of Time, it's on a mountain. I'm guessing it's the Mountain Fairy. Uh, that's all I could guess, though. So. Oh no, more enemies! I wonder how we'll ever be able to defeat these guys. You know how we're gonna defeat these guys, don't you? Oh, try me, try me, try me, try me, and jump flash! You're dead. I said you're dead. And automatically, as soon as you kill the last moblin, she's awake. Because, of course. <laughs> Did she just go up before she fell down? God <laughs> Why are your legs so short? Shut up. Wow. What's with the get up? Well, whatever. So where am I? You're in a forest. Oh, that's right. The giant bird came in. Oh. Miss. Miss Tetra. Oh, oh, thank goodness. You're safe. When I saw you get dropped on the summit, I thought for sure you'd be dead because it was like a 50 foot drop and that tree branch should have totally broke as soon as you collided with it. Summit? So that bird dropped me on the top of a mountain? Well, it wasn't that nice of it. What are you looking at? To the side. Well, don't just stand there. Let's go! Time to repay your debt to that bird in full. But miss, what about the- what about this boy? Don't worry about him, come on! But- But he's got a cool sword. I would do the boys, but... Hi, big brother! I thought it would be a good idea to go over this rickety old bridge. There was no sign telling me I couldn't. Oh shit, that was my fault, wasn't it? Swiggity swooty. Time to do this. Brother! I can fly! Ah! Shit! That stupid 
kid! You know, she is holding him, he is holding her, and the gravity is holding them all together. <laughs> Ugh, stupid kid. Get a hold of yourself. She's gone. There's nothing you can do. I'm gonna fly away. Well, that's the end of the game. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was a fun ride while it lasted. What? You wanna come with us on our ship? Yeah, that's what I said. I mean, that's what I not said because I didn't even speak. Do you understand what you're asking? We're pirates, you know? Pirates! The terror of the size. What do you get out of bringing some helpless little kid along with us? I'll tell you what we get a headache. I know you mu how you must feel with your sister having been kidnapped and all, but that doesn't really have anything to do with us, now does it? It 100% fucking does. And how do you figure that? Yeah, I exist. Forgot about me, I'm the postman. Whoa, whoa, whoa there. Just who are you? What do you get out butting in someone else's conversation? Please. All I mean to say is that if you big bad pirates hadn't come to this quiet little island, that poor girl wouldn't have been snatched away by that bird. My arm is going through my other arm, but that's not a problem right now, now is it? And just what do you mean by that? Just be quiet for a moment and I'll tell you. I know you weren't talking over me, but just shut the fuck up. Now, as my work entails delivering letters, I spend much of my time traveling amongst the different islands. As a result, I hear many things. For example, SQUAWK! That was from my island. My wife said that to me last night. Haven't you and haven't any of you heard that young girls have been getting kidnapped lately from all regions of the Great Sea? That's very specific. I don't like that. No matter. Whether you've heard it or not, that seems to be the case. Young girls with long ears like yours have been getting kidnapped. Never just be seen again. Again, very specific. And I don't like that. Now, unless my eyes fail me, that young girl who was just kidnapped from this island also has long ears. Does she not? Much like you do, misfortune for some pirate. Why did I say fortune? My point is that the bird mistook that poor girl for you. And that's why I, I, it grabbed her. It's all your fault. It's entirely your fault. 100% your fault. Oh, I'm thinking about it. It's, it's entirely your fault. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it was young Rupert who saved you from the monsters in the forest, wasn't it? You know, saved you from the very dangerous monsters that died in like five hits. Is this true? Oh, and while I'm at it, I may as well tell you that that bird kidnapped both you and Rupert's sister has made its foul nest to the north of the heights of the Forsaken Fortress. It's Forsaken, because it's a fortress. The Forsaken Fortress? Isn't that the place where... Yes, it's the place where uh, people get forsaken. So, what are you gonna do? Under the circumstances, I don't think you would be reason unreasonable for you to give Brupitz a little help now, would it? You know, go risk your life so that he could risk his life and that everyone could risk everyone's life and save the day at the end. Games! Hmm, I don't need you to tell me that. Even if we were to consider it. Lately, I've heard nothing but evil rumors about the Forsaken Fortune. Oh, shut the fuck up! You can't possibly mean to go there with nothing but a cheap little sword. This sword was made by my grandfather! I'll have you respect it! That's not brave, it's stupid. You're stupid! Yeah, this is fun. I mean, come on, even a, sli a simple little island like this has to have something you could use as a shield. You know, something to protect, your so protect yourself with. You know, like a shield. Anything? Tell you what, if you come back with something like that, we'll let you stow away on our ship. You have to sleep with the cargo, though. And sometimes the cargo moves and you'll be like, smacked with one in the face in the middle of the night. It hurts. Oh, and one more thing. Once we leave, you won't be coming back here for a while. So you'd better go say goodbye to your family while you still have the chance. Don't want any getting- I don't want you getting all weepy-eyed on and homesick on me. I swear to god, if you do, I'm going to commit a murder. If you remember, our grandmother had a shield. Let's go visit our grandmother. So we are at Grandmama's house. Grandmama, where is thou speaking for shield? What is it, Burpitz? Please tell Grandma what's troubling you. And where's a rule? Is she still playing outside with the goals? Did the goals play outside with her? 
did, did the girls kidnap her? She got kidnapped, didn't she? I fell 15 feet away from the cutscene. Bro, Pits. I told you not to try to steal stuff from me. I told you I could just teleport it back. Is this what you're looking for? I had a feeling that when Errol didn't come back after like two weeks that, you know, she might be dead. Take it with you. You got a cardboard shield! It's decoration for a reason. <laughs> nah, just kidding. This is a hero shield. This is a legendary shield said to have been used by the hero himself. Hold R to defend yourself. You can also hold R to defend while L targeting. And also remember, that does not look anything like the goddamn shield used in Ocarina of Time. I guess it is true. Aurora has been kidnapped, hasn't she? What kind of monster could take such a sweet young child? Um... A monster? Well, uh, Grandma. I guess I'll be going now. Let's give it a second. Hello, Biatch. Wow, that's a discreet dull shield. Are you sure you can still use that thing? Are you going to get splinters and cry? I'll have you know it's made out of cardboard. Well, whatever. If you're getting ready, then let's go. Are you ready? No. I still need more money. Ah, the sun. Raise the sails! Push forward! Say goodbye to your family, love, life, interests, subjects, everything. Good luck, Burpits! Good luck finding a role! Take care of yourself. I'm not taking care of you anymore. Goodbye. I hated all of you, especially you, Karen. Oh my god. Who's that? Grandmama. By the time he comes back, I'll be fucking dead. Cry, Grandmama. You'll just look like a distant shadow by the time I get 14 feet away from you. Uh, how much longer does this have to go on? Do you think? Do you have an estimate? 15 minutes. At least. Are you sure you shouldn't just quit right now? Seriously, think about it. You are a biatch! I can tell you, you're just gonna get more sentimental here on out. Yeah, is that how you started? There's still time, you know. Are you sure we shouldn't just turn around and take you back to our island? Uh, it's a yes. Stop banging that thing. We are on a ship, Jesus Christ, this looks cool. Oh my god, just water everywhere. Wait, can I just end the game now if I just jump out of the ship? Can, can I just end the game now? No, there's an invisible wall. You know what? Screw this game too. What do you want? Brupits, listen, Cade, you can't just stand around on the deck. You'll get in everyone's way. I told Nico to look after you, so you'd better report below decks and ask him what should be going, what you should be doing. I'll have you know. I am made out of 99.9% .9 non-physical matter. Uh, who the hell are you? Hmm, that nickel didn't make you out half bad with you being the new, new swabby and all. New swabbies always get stuck doing the hardest work. It's a really raw deal, but hey, I'll tell you. It sure sounds like Nico is happy to finally not be the bottom rung on the pirate ladder. You bet he is. But hey, don't sweat it. I'm sure you'll do just fine. As long as you don't disobey him. Yeah, you just gotta say yes to everything. The answer to all the questions is B. Ah, oh, all sorts of shields and swords. Well, just swords, but in different sizes. Stop right there. This is Miss Tetris Cabin. Most of us real pirates aren't allowed in here. There's no way we're letting in a little outsider in. Don't you even dank it. Even when I'm dead and Tetris dead, we won't let you in. Oh, so this is Nico, huh? Looks like a fucking dick. 
Oh well now. Hey there, Swabby. As for today, <clears throat> I am your superior, Nico. Now I promise I'll go easy on you. So do as I say, okay? Right now, first of you have to take the test all new pirates have to take. What kind of fucking test is that? It's a bit of a doozy, so get ready. You watch everything I'm about to show you real careful like so you can cram can cram. You watch everything I'm about to show you real careful like so you can cram it into your no doubt mushy swamp brain. I'll have you know. I my brain is made out of 99.9% .9 physical matter. First off, you gotta press this switch. This is the only easy part. Just walk up to it and tilt the control stick forward to step onto it. Presto! Switch pressed! As you know, every ship has these kind of things. Now check it out. After the platforms rise up on the floor, you gotta jump on them. Like this. You just gotta jump like this. Okay, so I was able to jump on the first one myself, but that next one is too far, right? That's when you gotta do this. Check this shit out. If you jump right out the rope, you can grab onto it and use the control switch to swing. Swing until you get close enough to the next platform, then press A to let go and jump onto it. Man, this is some sort of weird sort of test. Some weird test. So, do you think you get how to do it? You have to swing from platform to platform and try to get to the entrance of that room over there. I have this disability which makes me speak really weird. Here's the problem though, Swabby. The platforms only stay rise for a little while. So if you don't get there by the time they drop, you have to start over. And if you start over, you, you start over. There's, there's nothing else after that. It'll probably take you at least one year before you're good enough to make it all the way here. One rough year, one tough year, full of bumps and bruises. Of course, if you manage to do it faster, I'll reward you. Now give it a try. This ought to be a good for a chuckle or two. Notice how he says or two. Fuck. Alright, let's do this. Leroy! Fuck. I swam too far, matey. Hey, what are you doing? You have to jump and make it they, here. Falling isn't part of the program, Swabby. Well, well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but falling is part of fucking gravity. Okay, I don't think we could just remove it from the equation. What? Uh, hey! What? You did it already? I, I, I'm proud to have you as my mandolin. I wonder if it's okay to just give that to him. I don't see why not. I don't want to get busted. Alright, Swabby, I'll tell you what. You can have the treasure in that chest over there. It's a reward from the great and generous Nike. I'm shit, I mean Nico. Hurry up and take it before someone comes. It's totally not crack cocaine. It's, it's crack cocaine from that guy we saw earlier, isn't it? Oh my god, there's some sort of powerful LEDs at the bottom of this chest. Let's see what it is. It's a fucking spoils bag. You got the spoils bag. You can keep items you get from enemies in this handy pouch. It can hold up to eight I types of items. Press Y, Z, or X on the item screen to save, see what's inside. Press Y, Z, or X again to set them and use them as one of his contents. You know what? I'm too tired to be fucking good. Hey, big brush! I mean, Brupitz! We've reached the Forsaken Forge! Hurry, hurry up and, and get up here! It's, it's about time to do the. Go! Shut up! Link! Hey, Brupitz. Here. I am up here. I am part of the Eagle's Nest. The Eagle's Nest? The Eagle Nest. Can, can I be part of the Eagle's Nest? No. Why, why can't I be part of the eagle's nest? Because you're not an eagle. But, but I, I want to be an eagle. You can't be an eagle. How, how do I become an eagle? I, I mean an eagle. You gotta be an eagle to become an eagle. That, that makes no sense. What were you doing with Nico? It took you all day. Literally 12 hours. 
Don't tell me you're playing some stupid game for treasure, where are you? Um, um, um! No? Well, whatever. There's something you need to see. Have a look over here. I mean, there! Everywhere! That's the first, that's the cursed isle known as the Forsaken Fortress. It's forsaken because it has rocks and searchlights. And how the hell does this place get electricity? There are all sorts of strange rumors about this place. What I do know is that long ago it used to be uh, the hideout of a no good p group of pirates we used to compete with. But they were just small time. Now the place looks like it's pretty dangerous. Ah! I knew it! Look! Over there! By the window! Okay, luckily. Luckily, this window. Have you ever seen so many seagulls flock like that before? I'll bet you anything that's the place where, they, where they've got your sister locked up. Because we all know your sister can attract seagulls by emitting a scent known as Formacolor. But it looks like the whole place is under really tight guard. Crap! Really? No! I couldn't tell! This won't work. We'd be spotted before we got anywhere near landing there. Hmm. What do we do now? Give up. Alright. Are you fucking kidding me? What am I doing over here? Oh, holy shit! No! This is not what's happening! No, please god no! No, no, I don't want to be in a barrel! Look, don't struggle if you really want to get into that dangerous place like that. This is the only way to do it. Trust me. No other way. You can't swim. You can't ride a tiny boat there. No, it's the only way. We pirates do this all the time. Don't worry about it. It'll be a piece of cake. Ah, no! Is everybody ready? Yeah, pretty much. Never you fear. Never you fear, kid. Never you fear, kid. Never you fear, kid. We're bros. We're going to launch you good. Real good. Three. Two. One. I have accepted my fate. Yeah! And then a dank mist set. Fuck. Forsaken Fortress. Don't, no, no trespassing, alright? No Hey! What the hell? What the hell did I just say? Anyways, next time on The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, we're gonna be entering Forsaken Fortress. It's Forsaken for a reason, you know. And also, who needs a sword when you could just roll? Your sword landed all the way up there? Shoot, I'm sorry, I apologize. I guess my aim was a bit uh, was off by a little bit. A little bit, motherfucker, I fell like 50 feet off the ground, broke my neck, my back, my pussy, and my crack. <laughs> the luck on their face, priceless. <laughs> I slipped the stone into your pocket just before we fired you over there. It's no ordinary stone either. I can see what you're doing. I can see what you're doing through this stone. And obviously you can hear me through it, so if you see a, eh, you better press that button, or else I'm gonna kick your ass. I've put the stone in your quest status screen. I know of the quest status screen because I see all. I am God, did I mention that? Press start and use L or R to scroll around. It's pretty basic. Hey, but listen carefully. I need this back after you save your sister. So don't go losing it. You understand? The sea is right there. Don't try me. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye!